In this video, we will show how to install the Philips 9965000044559 repair kit. This repair kit includes all necessary components to repair common failures on the main power supply board. Symptoms include if your TV is dead and has no power, and or a chirping noise coming from the power supply unit. I have already removed the board from the TV and now I will start replacing components. I will start by replacing these three capacitors. I flip the board over and then desolder these three capacitors on the back side. After I have removed the solder, I can pull the capacitors out. We do not show it in the video, but it is recommended to clean up the pads on the back side of the board with some solder wick and your iron. And then be sure to use isopropyl alcohol to clean up the pads. Next, I can line up my first capacitor on the front side of the board. Be sure to line it up correctly with the stripe on the capacitor on the correct side. Then I can flip the board over and solder the legs to the board. First I will apply some flux and solder to secure the legs to the board. Then I can clip the excess off of the legs and clean up the board with the isopropyl alcohol. I will repeat the same steps for the other two capacitors that we have already removed from the board. Next, once again I will use my desolder gun to loosen this diode from the board. After I have removed the component, I can then bend the replacement to fit into place and go through the holes in the board. Once again, be sure to line up the component correctly according to the markings on the board. Then, solder the component to the board on the back side. Once again, always be sure to use flux before soldering and trim the legs close to the board. I will repeat the same process for the other two diodes that need to be replaced. You can see them here next to each other.
The next smaller capacitor follows the same process of desoldering it from the back of the board, cleaning the pads to remove all of the solder, and then cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. After you have done this, then you can line up the replacement and push it through the holes. Then apply some flux and solder the legs to the board. I will repeat the same process for these other two smaller capacitors as well. Then I will repeat the same process for this final diode. 